Let's meet our next pair. They play mother and son. Now, she's just survived being driven off the side of the road by him. And he's been found not guilty for the murder of his boyfriend. I hope you're keeping up with this. From Emmerdale, please welcome Aaron Livesey and Chaz Dingle, also known as Danny Miller, and Lucy Pargeter. <laughs> I am going to hit him. Oh, good time. Well, I'm right on there. <laughs> Lucy, I couldn't help noticing when you came in, you gave him a little punch. Uh, yes, I will be doing quite a lot of That's that tonight. That's a normal I think. thing, that, though. Yeah. That well, you know, day. you're like your mother and son in the soap. Are you like that in real life, you two? Yeah. Yeah. Does she mother you all the time? All the time. Nags you. Nags, Nags me. You I don't nag you. You do whenever I'm on my phone. I just look after you. Well. Same thing. When okay. he goes on holiday, you have yes, to make all sure right. he's we finish right. our half-past ten <laughs> now. Okay, sorry. sorry. <laughs> William and Michelle have already put £25,000 into the weekend's prize pot, which hopefully will be boosted even further by Lucy and Danny. Uh, the other half of their winnings will go to their favourite charities, which in this case are Once Upon a Smile and Safe at Last. As always, they have their lifelines, and for the first two questions, they'll have just 15 seconds. Guys, lots of luck. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Don't play that music. <laughs> Okay, you ready for this? No. Yes. Right, no. question number one for £500. I'll read the question, then I'll give you 15 seconds with the four alternatives. Here's the question. <laughs> Stop looking at me. What have become East Enders character Pat Evans' trademark accessories? Start the clock. Sunglasses, tattoos, earrings, hot pants. Final answer. Final answer C. Earrings. It's the right answer, Dan. You've got £500. Oh, it's the wrong answer. <laughs> 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 Right. Coming up to 10 o'clock, we're going to take a break. Join us after the break. These two will attempt to win more cash for their charities and, of course, one of you at home. Don't forget, if you want to be in with a chance of winning all the cash banked on tonight and tomorrow night's shows, could be a big old total tomorrow night, here's how to enter. <laughs> Danny got such a telling off during the break. <laughs> Welcome back to this live Who Wants to Be a Millionaire soap star special. Lucy and Danny now are only just really off the starting blocks with £500. But you're right, you two. You're calm. No. OK, not fine. Uh, question number two is for £1,000. Last point at which you could go home with nothing. Don't even think about it. You've got three lifelines. Use them early if you have to. That's what they're for. You probably won't need them. Question number two is for 15 seconds to give me the right answer. Here it comes. Mm. Which cricketer had a dramatic makeover since he started dating Liz Hurley? Lucy's nodding her head wisely. 15 seconds. Shane Warne, Mark Ramprakash, Jeffrey Boycott, Ian Botham. A. Final answer, Shane Warne. Not Jeffrey Boycott. Mmm, nah. If he has, it hasn't worked. Um, <laughs> you got £1,000, we'll play. Ready? It's all over the paper. That's better. That's a guaranteed £500 for this. Uh, you missed it. We have a £500 now in that viewer's prize pot. Uh, the total now has gone up to... Where's the total gone? £25,500. Right, bad. the next five questions um, will have 30 seconds available for each answer. Question number three is for £2,000. Lifeline still untouched. Here we go. Which slang term means staying at a series of friends' houses often as a substitute for permanent accommodation? <laughs> 30 seconds. Floor gliding, bed bouncing, chair sailing, couch surfing. D. I got D. Yeah. Couch surfing. Chair sailing. Floor Danny, gliding, bed bouncing. So you can't hear me. Sorry, yeah, exactly. We don't want to come across as stupid. Um, I would say D, couch surfing. Would you go D? I'd agree with that, yes. Yeah, so the would pressure's you? on you. You, you uh... oh, Cheers, mate. Uh, D, final answer, answer, couch surfing. You're right. Yeah, no. Oh. It's the right answer. You got Thanks. two thousand. <laughs> Thank you. They were telling me earlier on before they came on. They were absolutely terrified. They soon they were saying they've been trying to learn it up on the iPad. <laughs> How have you done? What's the most you've won on? I want my money back. <laughs> yeah. It's been awful. Um, I did quite well with my driver today. We got to one hundred and sixty-four. Which 164? If, no, 132. 132. I think, on the old game. Oh, the old game. No, it's 164. Is it 164? Yeah. We did He's, all right. He is on the phone more than anyone I've ever met, man or female, in my life. Bus yeah. Businessman, aren't I? <laughs> no. What are you talking to all day? What are you doing? Are you Twittering? It's me mum. Yeah, Twitter. I'm on Twitter as well, Danny B. Miller. <laughs> Look. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Physically right, you have to. I know what you're doing. You're trying to keep me talking. So I won't ask any more questions. You have two thousand pounds. Question number four is for five thousand. You have three lifelines. Try, try and get the money up. Okay. Uh, and I want to try and get Ricky and Joe on as well. Let's have a look. Question number four. You'll have thirty seconds. Here it is. What's your star sign if no. it's your birthday today? Thirty seconds. Cancer, Sagittarius, Leo, Scorpio. Not Scorpio. What are you? Uh, oh, it's, I'm irrelevant. It's, irrelevant. it's not Cancer. I think it's Leo or Sagittarius. What are you going to do? You've got 18 seconds yeah. left. Uh, Can we use a lifeline, please? Right, stop the clock. Which one are you going to use? 50-50? Yeah. 50-50. OK, right. Computer, take away two random wrong answers. Leave Lucy and Danny the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Leo, Scorpio. Restart the clock. You've got 13 seconds. My mum's a Scorpio and she is in November, so I think it's C, Leo. Happy? <sighs> Final answer, C, Leo. Oh, I thought you were going to run out of time for a minute. It's the right answer. You've got £5,000. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Danny, I couldn't help noticing during that question you were absolutely no use whatsoever. <laughs> Well, you better take get clue. used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Not a clue. Lucy, you did well. Uh, Leo, oh. 23rd July to 22nd of August. Right. Uh, question number five. The money's going up. We've still got two lifelines. Question number five is for ten grand. Here it comes. OK. What club does the Mexican footballer nicknamed Chicharito or Little P play for? 30 seconds. Newcastle United, Chelsea, Man U, Liverpool. Final answer C, Manchester United. Chicharito. Sure. Absolutely. Bill A now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is actually. <laughs> Luckily, it's the right answer. You've got £10,000. Hey, hey, hey. Who's your team, Dan? Uh, it's actually Liverpool, so it pained me that question. Yeah, well, it won't. <laughs> did, did they win today? They did, 2 0, yeah. Big game against Arsenal today. Mm. Yeah. OK, right, you have £10,000. You're two away God. from 50000 Just two more, Just and I'd be happy. More. Just two more, and I'd be happy. But you're flying, you've got two lifelines. Yeah. I know you worry, but you're actually you're hanging in there, guys. You've got £10,000. It's still a big old drop. You would lose nine if you gave me a wrong answer. Oops. But mm. you can double your money to 20000 You could use two lifelines to help you get there. OK. You can still take the money. Question number six is for £20,000. Here it comes. What is indicated on a weather map by a continuous red line with semicircles? 30 seconds. Freezing fog, warm front, high winds, pressure. low pressure. It's got low pressure. Low pressure, warm front. What are you thinking? I'm thinking low pressure. I'm saying warm front or high winds. Warm front, low pressure. What do you want to do? Ask the audience. Tell me what you yeah. want to do. Have to stop Lifeline, the clock. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Stop the clock there. Right. Ask the audience. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, audience. This pressure. is the question. You'll only have ten seconds off the back of this, guys. So make your mind up. You could still phone a friend. You've got time yeah. to do that okay. if you want. Audience, this is the question. What is indicated on the weather map by a continuous red line with semicircles? A on your keypad is freezing fog, B is a warm front, C high winds, D low pressure. A freezing fog, B warm front, C high winds, D low pressure. Continuous red line with semicircles. All vote now. <laughs> Little faces. Uh, one percent freezing fog. Probably the same person who thought it was a brain transplant earlier. Um, Sixty-three <laughs> percent. Big old majority say warm front. Uh, high winds five percent. Low sure. pressure thirty-one. You got ten seconds. Restart the clock. What do you want to do? Yeah, we'll go. Uh, final answer B. Warm front. Yeah. You thought it was low pressure just now. Yeah, I'll well, change my mind. <laughs> <laughs> was it right though? Well, that was lucky. It's the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't 